Hey guys, welcome back for another episode. Since you guys saw me last, I've been out on a few dives. A couple of weeks back, a heap of guys from our local dive club um, drove up to Carmine Beach. And they spent the week up there and just went diving and fishing, crabbing. My days off lined up with it, so I just went up for a couple of days, sort of the middle of the week. My mate also got his 773 back on the trailer and we took that out to some local islands. Is Woody been neutral? As well as that, the viz cleared up a little bit on the coast, so we, we got a little bit of coast diving done as well. So we've actually done a fair bit of diving over the last three weeks. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy, and we'll kick it off with the Carmine trip. Cheers. Um, today you'll notice the scenery is a little bit different. I'm on a beach, um, we've headed north. A heap of Mackay divers are headed north of Mission Beach. Um, they're gonna spend the whole week up there, so I'm just gonna come up for a couple of days in between that and hopefully mine some good weather up and get out on a few boats. I haven't towed the tinny up for this and obviously the Haynes project boat is still a project. So I'm hoping to get out on a couple of the boats that belong to the divers from Mackay that are already up here. Yeah, so next time you see me, I should be out at the reef. Hopefully the water looks a little bit cleaner than that. After a good night's rest, we headed out to the reef. We had around 15 metres of visibility. I think I logged around 60 dives for the day. This is quite a shallow part of the reef. I spotted a trout from the surface. As I dove down, I had a quick look to see if there was anything else around. I slowly moved forwards and a trout turned for an easy sight on shot. We really struggled to find any different species to what we normally see on the Mackay Coast. We had the flasher set up, trying our luck for a pelagic, when this tusky moved in for a look. The following day, some of us decided to stick to the coast. One of the guys had an idea to put the drone up to try and find some bombies. We cruised around and got half a dozen or so marked. Then we just worked our way back through them. I speared another couple of trout for the day. But what I enjoyed more was spending time under the water in a different location. Seeing how fish reacted to me and using the time underwater to watch and learn. This next clip is the highlight of the trip for me. It's moments like these that make it all worthwhile. With Luke's trailer finished and a 773 back on the water, we headed out to some islands not far from the Mackay coast. On this first dive, I was sort of scouting around. The viz wasn't the best and I hadn't dove this part of the island before. I was down around that 10 to 12 metre mark and just slowly working my way out. I actually gave that shark a hurry up after this dive. I kept working my way out when something caught my eye.
I have shot a lot bigger trout than this. This is my biggest bar cheek trout to date. As you can tell, I was pretty stoked. I noticed this ledge from the surface. As I dove down, a school of small spangled emperor moved out. A sneaky jack tried to poorly blend in with the emperor. Knowing I had all the time in the world with these jacks, I stayed down and watched them move in and out of the cave. I decided to take my shot. I lined up and waited until the fish was just away from the rocks so I didn't damage my spear. The Mackay Coast, beautiful one day, picture perfect the next. This next day saw us back on the coast and diving some pretty dirty water. I was crawling along the bottom when I noticed a flash of silver. I didn't rush to take my shot, I slowly moved my gun to the right until I lined up for a shot. I actually lost the fish for a moment in the haze. I spotted its silhouette and luckily I'd kept tracking the gun and I was still lined up for a shot. I love doing dives like this in dirty water, just laying on the bottom and seeing what comes into you. This is another great example of what we have right on our doorstep here in Mackay. But as you can see, I'm back in the Haynes Hunter. I've done a little bit on it since you guys have last seen it, so I'll just run through it. So I've cut out these, all the tops of the bunks now and the storage hatches. I spent a bit of time, I cut a heap of, I cut a heap of these strips out. So I'll bog this and glass it, and glass, glass the underside of this up and over. I'll let me be able to fit them into the, into the hole. I did mention in another video how I needed to uh, level out down the back. So I actually went through and used a straight edge and worked out just how much I needed to add to each of them and I've done that now. So it's all nice and level through to the back of the boat. I've also added this strip in. That'll be what the um, what this little lid lid will sit on here. I'm gonna run in down in underneath the transom storage. Thanks for watching guys. I just ducked out to film this to say thanks to all my subscribers. I've run into a few of you guys at the ramp and out on the water now. And I really do appreciate your, your kind words and words of encouragement. Um, it's running into you guys and having a chat with you guys that makes me want to keep making these videos. Every video I get a heap of comments and private messages. Um, keep them coming. I really enjoy chatting with people from all over about diving and about the project boat. Whoa. What was that? Hopefully I got that on film. Again, thanks for watching. 
If you enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below for any future video suggestions or you know, anything you want to chat about from the video. Hopefully this wind eases off a bit and we can get out for a dive. Cheers.